This is a solution to question 6 from the 2013 PDE's exam. Okay, so this is the uh, question gives you the 1D advection diffusion equation here. Um, part 1 asks you to write down the units of alpha and give us physical interpretation when V equals 0. Okay, so um, to find alpha, we'll find the units for alpha. Uh, I'm going to let V equals 0. Uh, so in doing this, if we let V equal 0, then the PDE becomes, okay, so in doing so, the PDE actually reverts to simply the diffusion equation. Okay, um, what I'm going to do here is just rearrange to make alpha the subject. Okay, so we have the derivative of u with respect to t over the double derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so if we look at units... Okay, units for time in seconds, so what we're doing is we're finding a change in u over a second, and we're finding a change um, in u over metres, and again over metres. So that's over metres squared. Okay, so if we cancel out, uh, we get metres squared per second. So this is units for alpha, which is actually the diff uh, diffusivity coefficient. Okay, so uh, when the velocity is equal to zero, uh, the advection, uh, if I can spell, advection diffusion equation reverts to the um, diffusion equation. And that just models pure diffusion. Okay, uh, second part of the question. Okay, we're given a function here, and we're told that it's the exact solution um, to the advection diffusion equation for the interval x is 0 to 1. Initial conditions sine pi x, and boundary conditions both 0. Okay, so what we need to do here is show that the initial conditions and the boundary conditions both satisfy the PDE. Okay, so initial conditions, okay, and uh, we have we have the exact solution, what we're told is the exact solution of the exponential function of minus alpha pi squared t times sine pi x. Okay, so when t is equal to zero, what do we have? Okay, so we have the exponential function minus alpha pi squared times zero times sine pi x. Okay, um, this of course, a bit in brackets, is going to be zero. Exponential function of zero is one. So we're just left with sine pi x, which um, is the initial condition. So that's that's the initial conditions are satisfied. Right, boundary conditions now. So the domain is between zero and one. Okay, so so when x is equal to zero, our function is the exponential function minus pi sorry minus alpha pi squared t times sine pi times zero. Okay, well. Pi times zero is zero, sine of zero is zero, so that's quite simply zero. What about at the other boundary? So when x equals one, okay, so we have the exponential function minus pi, sorry, minus alpha pi squared t times sine pi times one. Obviously pi times one is pi, sine of pi is zero, so again we have zero. So we can see here, initial conditions are satisfied, both boundary conditions are satisfied, so what we can say is, so since initial conditions and boundary conditions are both satisfied, then the PDA is also satisfied. Okay. Right, on to part B. Uh, what have we got 
got here. So part B, so we have some uh, term splitting here. So we have this sequence, operator sequence. Uh, LD and LA are diffusive and effective difference operators respectively. So what this means is the diffusion term, or well, we have a finite difference scheme for the diffusion term only, and we solve that over a half time step. Then using the values um, resulting from this uh, finite difference scheme, we then apply it, uh, the advection scheme using those values over a full time step, and then once again we apply the diffusion over a half time step. So the question part one, with reference to the appropriate PDEs, explain how the above split scheme is implemented. Okay, so what we have here is the diffusion equation. So we split, the PD is split into the diffusion and advection equation. So the diffusion equation is solved over uh, a half time step. Then uh, the advection equation is solved over a full time step. But this is using values from the diffusion step. Okay, and finally, the diffusion equation is solved again. Um, over a half time step. Just again, using values from the advection step. Okay, however you want to explain that um, in your own words is fine. A uh, possible reason for this operator um, sequence, and uh, this uh, reason could be that the diffusion scheme uh, has a smaller time step or maximum allowable time step than the advection scheme. So the reason for this sequence could be that LD has a smaller maximum allowable time step than the advection operator LA. Okay, um, in part two, uh, given we're given that the this is the advection uh, finite difference scheme, this is the diffusion finite difference scheme. Implement one time step uh, using four grid points with delta x as one, delta t is half, v is two, alpha two, and zero goes by u. Okay, so okay, so we're going to start with the um, initial conditions. Uh, so u zero is two, u one is one. Oops u2 0 u3 is also 0 in addition to those we're going to have a couple of ghost nodes and we're told in the question that these ghost nodes have values of 0 as well so that, those are our initial conditions okay so we're going to start with the diffusion step and the d coefficient is alpha dt over dx squared and we're told that alpha is 2. Now dt is 0.5, but then we're doing it over a half time step. So instead of a half, we've got a quarter. And dt, delta t squared, is 1. So our diffusion coefficient d is going to be 1 half. 
Okay, so if I write down this scheme, okay, and I'm going to use a superscript star just to denote that this isn't the full solution yet. We're going to use this later. Uh, we have 1 minus 2 times d. Uh, 2 times a half is 1. And that's minus d, which is a half. And i plus 1 plus ui minus 1. Okay, so we can see that this first term is just going to cancel out to 0. So our scheme is just minus a half times the node to the right plus the node to the left. Okay, so let's see what we got. So for u0 minus half times the node to the right plus the node to the left. Uh, u1 was 1, and the ghost node is 0, so we have minus a half. u1, again, uh, minus a half times the node to the right, plus the node to the left. So, oops, that's 0. So that's u2, which is 0, plus u0, which is 2. So we've got minus 1, and see what we have for u2, u3 is 0, u1 is 1, and finally u3, u4 is the ghost node. So that's zero. So that finishes the um, diffusion step. So now what we do is we use these values in the advection step. And the advection step is done over a full time step. So we have C is V dt over dx. So V is 2, dt is a half. And that's a full time step. So we haven't divided the half by 2 like we did with the diffusion over dx, which is 1. Okay, so our advection scheme is 1 minus c times the solution from the diffusion step plus c times the node to the left from the diffusion step. Well, c is going to be 1. So 1 minus c is going to be 0, so this is going to cancel out. So we essentially we end up with, quite simply, the node to the left from the previous step. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, so we have the node u0 is going to be the node to the left, which is u minus 1, which is ghost node, so that equals 0. Okay, so essentially all these here are just offset by 1, okay, as it propagates down the channel. So that's minus a half. Minus 1. And that's minus 1 half. Okay, so that's the advection step. So now we do the diffusion step again. Okay, so no need to rewrite the scheme out. That's the scheme uh, I'm going to be using. Okay, so this time we're solving over the full time. Well, the solution will be the solution of the advection diffusion over a full time step. So that's minus one half uh, u1 from the advection stage minus the ghost node. So u1 from the abection stage is minus one half plus zero, so it gives you a quarter. Okay, u1 minus a half, u2 plus u0. So we've got minus one half, uh, minus one plus u0. Oh, sorry, 
u2. Yep, minus 1 plus u0, which is 0, which is plus a half. u2. That's u3. Plus u1. So u3 is minus 1 half plus u1, which is almost also minus 1 half. So half minus half is minus 1 times minus a half is plus 1 half. And finally u3. u4 is the ghost node. going to be 0 plus u2 is minus 1 so again that's 1 half and that's that solution over one full time step